Hey guys, my name is Pabby and today we're gonna have a quick tutorial on how to set up your own uh, Minecraft server. So first of all, I'm starting off uh, I f a folder here where we're gonna download files and put everything in there just to illustrate. So we go into our web browser and type in minecraft.net and uh, then we go on, click on uh, download and then we scroll down and download the Minecraft server.jar file. And uh, this is basically how to install uh, the Minecraft server without any mods at all. But I'm going to show you how to install the bucket mod in a few seconds. So we downloaded the file, we put it on the, uh, on the folder, and now we press, um, now we're going to go into uh, terminal. So I'm just backing up here so I can see the actual folder and then I press, then I go into uh, um, terminal on the spotlight there and then I type CD and uh, spacebar and then I just drag the folder into there. So that's the easiest way to get to, you don't have to actually type how to get in there. So just drag it in there and now we copy this line that's beneath here, the Java command that we're going to... Uh, uh, type in the terminal. We just copy it with a command C. And then, so I put it here on the web browser. I'm just gonna change it a little bit. So I'm gonna give it, so a thousand means that it's uh, one thousand, that it's one gig RAM. I'm gonna give it two gigs RAM because that's like bare minimum actually. So I put it there and just uh, copy it into terminal and just press the start button. We get a few um, error messages up to the left there, but don't worry. It's just uh, it's all those files that were missing, but now, as you can see in the folder, they're there now. So um, don't worry about that. It just generated that. So next time we restart the thing, it's gonna they're, the files are gonna be there. I mean, the <laughs> you're not you're not gonna get the error messages. So um, so now you're probably wondering, okay, so what's my IP address? I usually just go to uh, speedtest.net because you want to see the actual IP address you have. Uh, outside to the world, not just the internal one. So there, as you see, I, that's my IP address. I just clicked on there, uh, copied it to my clipboard, and now on Minecraft, I just copy it with Control C, and then I write uh, colon 25565, which is the default port number of Minecraft. You can change it if you want to, uh, and as you can see there on terminal, that is also. And if we go into server properties here, you're gonna see there's the uh, port number. You can also change a number of other things if you want. You can uh, change uh, how many players if you want um, animals or mobs or whatever. You can change that there. It's either if it says true, you just change it to false, and if it's false, you change it to true. Basically. So we just click on um, connect here on Minecraft server here. I mean on Minecraft, and there it is. And this is a newly generated uh, server. Basically, that's what happens every time you uh, you connect the. I mean, every time you do this from from scratch, like I did now, it generates um, a random uh, world, which is unique. Um, next time, you're gonna get to the same, as, uh, of course. So don't worry about that. Um, so now I'm gonna show you Bucket. Bucket is an awesome mod which uh, allows you to do, do different things on your server, so it becomes more manageable. Um, I'm actually gonna show you. Uh, I have the direct link to to the actual download, so I'm, uh, I have it here on my bookmark. So I'm gonna show you that now. Uh, I'm gonna put all these links in the description, so you don't have to uh, try to remember it. But that's the link. Um, so I just click here on. Uh, it's all. That's always the latest um, build. So we're just gonna go with that. Sometimes it's just better to download a, an earlier one. Because uh, if it's if the bucket release, it, it's called craft jar. If it's too uh, new, then plugins don't work. Some of them don't work. They haven't been updated. So we just download it. I put it on my desktop and I changed the name to um, craft bucket jar. So I just uh, deleted that snapshot part and I put it in my Minecraft uh, folder that we made earlier. Um, so. Now, what we want to do, we probably want some other uh, plugins. So, 
these are under uh, if you go into forums and the bucket dart org you can see the one that I usually use a lot is essentials so to, to get to essentials I'm gonna put this link as well so don't worry about that uh, essential just lets you it, it just gives you a lot of commands like um, uh, well you know uh, teleport here summon people and uh, just like an easy way to do it uh, so we just downloaded it here as you can see if you didn't catch up there you can just scroll back and see exactly how it did if, if you didn't uh, if I did it too fast um, but you're gonna see now when I um, when I uh, start because now that I put another folder uh, I mean I put the craft bucket dot jar file in um, in the folder uh, we don't have a plugin you, you're gonna see now so what I just did now was um, I copied the, the the command I'm gonna put this in the description as well but the command is that one so it's a little bit different and I put 2g which is 2 uh, gigabytes of RAM but it's called now it's called um, craft bucket dot jar so I'm just gonna type it here real fast for you so you can see it and I'm also gonna put it in the description of course um, 2g x m f 2g right So what you want to do now, and you have it in the description, you so see you could you could just uh, copy it, of course. So to stop a server, you always have to put stop in the terminal, and it just stops everything, saving the chunks, and it saves the server. And um, that's the best way to to stop it. And now we just copy that. So it's Command V, and it just starts now. And as you can see now, um, right here it says the craft bucket build it's number like 293 or something like that forget it. and it created a plugin folder uh, inside of the minecraft folder we made before so now what we just do is go into essentials and we find this dot jar which is a java uh, file and we drag it and put it in the plugin folder uh, so now I'm just gonna stop this in terminal um, and now you're gonna see that when I do the paste it again and restart it it's uh, gonna load the essentials plugin. So there you see loaded essentials, build number blah 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 172. So that's basically it. So now you have that plugin. Uh, so that's how you um, that's how you install different plugins. You just put you just download plugins, the .jar file, and you put them there. What's kind of funny now? Uh, one of my users just uh, <laughs> connected to my server. Um, and obviously it's not the normal server that I use that's just this is just uh, an empty new world whatever so yeah um, so one of the problems that people have is that they need to you need to open the port um, usually that port the 25565 port is closed in your router so what you want to do usually your address is 192.68.0.1 or .1.1 I'm gonna put this in the description as well. And sometimes they ask you for for a password. It's usually just admin, and then it's just password, and then you get to go in. So just like that, admin and password. All right. So here to the left, this is how it looks on my router. Uh, of course, people have different routers, but it's usually kind of easy. I'm gonna show you in a, in, a, in this few seconds a website that helps you out with that. Um, so what we want to know now is what our local address is. So I press control and spacebar and I get to spotlight there just and I type in network and what I get then is uh, the Macintosh uh, network um, thing <laughs> and it shows me basically what my internal address is and the important number is the last one so we got 12 there so we name it here I'm just going to type in Minecraft I already done it before as you can see um, so I type in Minecraft and then 25565 twice and protocol has to be both and then I type in 12 and then I just add it and then it's uh, well I did 13 here just to illustrate but I'm not gonna add it now because I've already done it before so it's already open but um this is my router if you have another one just go into I'm just gonna google this right now port forwarding and I get to this right it's called portforward.com it's a great website. It has almost like every router available. Available, 
and you just click on it and you get um, uh, instructions on how to do that on on your server I mean on your router it usually it's just uh, the only difference is um, the IP address or how the menu looks but um, it's it's always the same you just uh, type in uh, you know uh, the last uh, digits of your internal IP like I had 12 there and just then 25565 you can always change it to something else if, uh, if you want so anyway uh, if you want to download more plugins you're going to bucket.org go into the forum and then plugin releases like I did right here and there's a bunch of other here uh, one that I use a lot is um, which you want to use together with essentials because uh, what it does is it, it you can set up different ranks and different permissions um, so the one that I use is called permissions 2.0 and I'm also gonna leave that the link in there um, so I can't find it here on the web page so I'm just gonna look for permissions there we go enter and there we have it permissions 2.0 and uh, yeah so just download that and um, read the forum it, it'll help you to to know how to set up the different classes it, it takes a while to learn how to do that uh, but if you don't want any classes if you just want to run like a regular um, server without any you know different groups or ranks it's kind of easy if you just want to have a survival one but uh, basically this is what you do and you make different groups here so there this the group is called default you can have that too um, well you have to you always have to have the default one but you can make the admins one can be a uh, called builder and then you just copy and paste that one you, you can have different ranks so um, yeah all right so I hope that was easy to understand uh, English is not my native language but I'm trying to do my best and uh, thanks for watching I hope this helped I'm gonna make a new tutorial on Windows how to set up this on Windows soon so yeah keep an eye out for that don't forget to visit our, us on familyworld.proparts.com to um, to get the IP to our server, my server, and um, come visit. Thanks. Bye.